Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday, right? And what happens on Sundays? Icon packs. Most of the time we get a brand new icon or hero upgrade pack or player pick on a Sunday in FIFA 23. So what we're going to do today is talk about the potential of a new pack coming and how EA could maybe surprise us because we're due something new. We'll get into that and of course take a look at the current status of content and what to expect today. We have one leaked SBC we still have not seen and we have a mini release most likely of more fantasy foot cards dropping into the game today and how is that going to impact the the market in general with all that's going to be going on today. We'll talk through that and of course take a look back at yesterday's content with Man of the Matches being dropped in packs. There's a lot of cards in packs right now if you kind of look at it this way. We'll talk about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. You know what to do. Let's actually start by looking back at yesterday, right? Yesterday was a pretty quiet day. We had the Bear SBC. That was kind of our SBC content that we had yesterday. It's not a bad card. They upgraded his skill moves from the World Cup hero card, and it is live. We have to remember that, right? This is a live card, so four-star, four-star Bear. The best thing about this is it is only one squad, right? It's so nice when EA give us player species that are just one squad. You're only turning in one set of players. You do need two 88s and above, but it's only an 86. You get two high-rated walkouts from weekend league rewards from upgrade packs that come out in the next week or two, and you get a team of the week player, and boom, this is done. Now, also, this expires in 82 days, so it's kind of like that road to the uh, final Diaby SBC. He was actually upgraded, like, as the SBC was expiring or, and, you know, going away, and we knew he was going to get upgraded. The same thing is going to happen here with Al Jaber. You're going to know his upgrades are going to be in order. He even might show us an upgraded card in here by the time this SBC expires. So it's kind of like EA released him as an icon player SBC, which is interesting. So, I mean, I know it's not the most exciting SBC ever, but I think that was a GG from EA Sports. And then also yesterday we had new cards coming into packs. We've got a team of the week in packs right now, including Lionel Messi, a promo team that also includes heroes in packs. And now we have Man of the Matches. There's a lot of cards in packs right now. Upgrade packs is going to hit nice this week. Um, but some of these cards, it's not an insane release of Man of the Matches. But we love Man of the Match cards, especially for trading, right? These cards are great. I mean, the, st I mean, the stats are not that insane, right? Fred, 84 rated. He has an 87 and an 88. But like this for 13,000 coins, he, that's a really solid card. If you're on a really low budget for a prem midfielder, that's pretty uh, a pretty decent card, right? The Dybala is probably one of the most exciting ones from yesterday. Of course, this will upgrade his ones to watch because man of the match cards are performance based and they do upgrade ones to watches. Now, this one has not been upgraded yet. It is still uh, an 89 rated card, but he will be going to a 90 because the man of the match, of course, is dropped. So these cards are going to be in packs until Friday. I believe the countdown timer says until Friday. There's not a lot talking about them on the main menu of foot. I think there might be a loading screen. Let me double check this for right now. But this is like the first time we've seen man of the match cards in packs which is nice because we really like to trade with these guys. They're just kind of rare, especially with maybe not a ton of people opening packs right now on this game. What does it say? Oh, it says for six days, 14 hours. Okay, so these guys are going to be in packs uh, until next Saturday. So they'll be in packs this coming Friday, which will probably bring them a good amount of supply. That's something we'll have to watch out for later on in the week for Casemiro, Dybala, Lozano, Fred, probably the most uh, exciting cards that are out of that man in the match release. So not to talk about those guys for too long because I know the content there isn't that insane, but I think today EA could take a step upward in terms of hype because again, with the 89 plus going away, we got to have something to replace it, right? EA's been on a roll these past couple of weeks. I think there was one week where they didn't release an icon pack, but then last week they made up for it because they released two, right? We had the mid icon player pick and the 89 plus prime or world cup. We've had this SBC twice now. If EA released it again today, I think people are going to be disappointed and upset because we would like something new. And also the fact is this is a really expensive icon pack, 526,000 coins for this. And I don't know if you guys are feeling the same as me, but after the showdowns, I just finished showdown Weghorst, right? Big game today, United Liverpool. That's probably the most exciting showdown matchup 
especially throughout this last week of SBCs that is still to be played and with upgrades on the line for that. That's exciting. But my club's pretty kind of barren on fodder, right? I don't have a lot of stuff in the club. And when the EA drops a really expensive icon pack like this, it just makes you not want to do the icon pack because we don't have a lot of upgrade packs out right now. We have a couple. And of course, we're going to get some more probably tomorrow. But if they release this for a third time in a row, I think people will be a little bit disappointed. I think EA know that as well. And they opened up kind of the scenario or they tested the waters last week with that mid icon player pick because we haven't had a ton of icon player picks yet this year in FIFA. We haven't had very many at all to be in fact. And you know, what's going to be the next play here? Because if you look at the pack code, there's no new icon pack that's been added, right? Of course, a lot of us now are like, okay, mid icons. Yeah, that's a little bit behind the curve. Okay, primes. Primes have now, think about this. We are in March. Prime icons have been in this game now in packs for three months almost. It's kind of crazy. Not quite a full three months, but you know what I'm saying? Since December, these guys have been in the game. And, you know, it's kind of crazy that we haven't had some of the icon packs that we think we could have had up until this time. Team of the Year icons have not been available except for when they were in packs. These guys are so expensive. They are so rare. It's about time that Team of the Year icons are involved in sort of an upgrade pack as well. Now, I think it might be too much for EA to put those in right now by themselves, but I've got a couple ideas. And since there's no pack code that has been released, like there's no pack code that's like Prime Icon Pack or a Prime or Team of the Year Icon upgrade pack, right? It makes me think we might be going back to what EA tested last week with a player pick because. Player picks don't have to be added into the code, and a player pick would be a great opportunity for EA to maybe bump up the bar a lot or maybe just a little bit, right? They could very easily do a mid, prime, or team of the year icon player pick, or they could just kind of let us down and just be okay with a mid or prime, or maybe maybe it's a World Cup and a prime icon player pick, one of two, one of three, hopefully like one of three or, or more than that, right? That I think is where our potential could be, and I think last week a lot of people did the mid icon player pick, even though the icons were behind the power curve, right? Uh, you know, I saw a lot of people getting some pretty good stuff from those. And the price on that, since it was a player pick, is a little bit inflated, um, but it's a player pick, right? And people absolutely love those types of SBCs. So with all that being said, I think there's something that's coming today. How is it going to impact the market? Of course, you think about SBC fodder, right? While fodder at the moment still, guys, I don't look at fodder and say, wow, what a great investment. This to me still seems a bit expensive, except for 84s. 84s and 83s are very cheap. If we get some sort of like, I don't know, an 84 plus times five SBC or some sort of other campaign pick or a gamble SBC that's like below 100,000 coins, 84s are going to do really, really good later on in the week. I think it's an almost no brainer opportunity to stock the club with 84s right now. If you can get them under 4K, that is great because as you can see yesterday, we had a tradable pack as well that was dropped uh, alongside of the Alja Bear. And then uh, you just saw a lot of the uh, 84s just kind of slowly tail off. They're not down a lot, but under 4K for 84s, that's pretty cheap. I think those are the only no brainer club stock right now. But if it's an icon pack that gets dropped today, especially like an icon player pick, where is that going to move the market? Well, probably some of the more higher rated cards. But again, these guys are just, they're kind of expensive, like 87s, 22, 23,000 coins. Yes, I know they were 32K. They are down a lot from where they were, but... And that was because last week we had all the showdown SBCs. We had the Icon player pick and the 89 plus two at one time. I just feel like it's not its not no risk to invest right now. There is a little bit of risk because EA could, of course, drop this same Icon pack again. And then people would be like, man, this kind of sucks. And it would go down in price, right? The fodder would maybe not move that much. So I would be careful with fodder. If you want to do a club stock, that's probably what I would do. I wouldn't go all out insane uh, because... It's not like we have a ton of other really great SBCs that are on the horizon to come. We've got one leaked player SBC, still the Umtiti, uh, right? That's the only leaked SBC that we have right now for a player. It's not like we have a ton of crazy player of the months. We have a couple leaks and a couple player of the months that will be upcoming, but like nothing wild. Ben Yedder wasn't that expensive, of course. And Mbappe's player of the month has gone away. So the SBCs right now in this game... It's just okay, right? The only other thing we could see today is maybe we go away from the icons and we see a 
hero pack, right? That's since EA has kind of worked heroes into this promo, right? With the fantasy heroes cards and these cards being alive and upgrading uh, and honestly incredible to trade with. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. But with these cards uh, being the focus of this promo and the upgrades, maybe EA is going to bring back some hero upgrades. We haven't had one in a while, right? We've had the Max 89 World Cup hero. Um, we had the World Cup heroes upgrade. 86 plus base or World Cup hero player pick. It's time for a World Cup hero specific player pick, right? They've just dropped these brand new upgraded heroes onto the game. What a better time than to not give us the second best uh, via an upgrade pack, right? Imagine a one of three or even a one of two World Cup hero player pick. I think that would cause just as much panic or maybe even more panic than an icon pack today because it would be cheaper. And that's the biggest thing with these hero SBCs is since a lot of the heroes are a lot cheaper. I mean, the most expensive, I'm looking through that page we were just on on Footbin, the most expensive hero upgrade pack we have had this year uh, was the 87 plus, which was actually during Future Stars and it was 299,000 coins. I think fodder was pretty inflated then, but we've had a lot of hero player picks and hero packs that have been below 100 and 50k uh and especially with i know the market right now is pretty inflated and you have a lot of these guys that are up in price and if you do world cup heroes then you can't pack ginola right you can't pack some of those cards that don't have the world cup heroes but for a lot of the heroes i mean especially for a lot of people in this game this would be a player pick that so many people would want to do especially on the lower tier i think if i'm looking at the market to invest in this i'd say 84s 85s 86s if you want to get involved, if you want to theorize a little bit, I just think we're going to get something today, right? That whole conversation we just had is all based around there's potential for today, uh, especially, but today or tomorrow. It could be tomorrow as well if they want to delay it till Monday, but probably today getting some sort of the icon pack or a hero pack. And a lot of people love doing those, right? This year more than ever with the game seemingly more untradeable than ever. People absolutely love doing those sorts of upgrade packs with the fodder that is available. It's the only problem right now too is it's not like there's a, an abundance of fodder that is available in objectives, right? It's not like you have a cup objective. It's not like you have anything along those lines at the moment. I mean, you've got a couple things. You've got these these upgrades here, like the Centurion of Matches, the SBC Chase. You know, maybe you're getting some uh, some stuff done with like other objectives or milestones that you're completing. But it's not like there's a cup mode. It's not like there is uh, some other sort of like grindable objective mode right now that is giving you upgrade packs so that hurts fodder and hurts the potential for people to do an upgrade sbc a little bit but still right we all love doing these gamble packs they're fun you have to be careful with your coins as we always talk about it but they are fun to do i think we're going to get something else along those lines today now let me talk just really quick again if we get a hero pack today this is why i, I said i think this could impact the market more if we get a hero pack than an icon pack or player pick would be the panic right i mean i think there'd be a lot of people that would panic sell these cards maybe not you know the yaga tourays or wow three million coins this guy went back up to um, you know, a card like this isn't going to get panic sold as much, but maybe a guy like Park Ji Sung, who is still usable. A lot of people are using him. He's pretty cheap, right? 90,000 coins. He's going to get packed a decent amount. Maybe the lower level version of like Harry Cool, right? Who has the brand new card in Foot Fantasy live and upgrading, but this guy's like 200k. He's going to get packed a decent amount from a hero player pick if that were to drop. I would expect those cards to have a bigger percentage drop today if there was a hero player pick. But of course, if there is a prime icon pack if they do somehow put team of the year icons back into an upgrade pack these cards would be like amazing to trade with whenever this happens right because these guys are so rare from when they of course were in packs and released in this game which is the most annoying thing to search for team of the year icons on this game because you have to find whichever correct icon version corresponds like it's not prime nesta when you search for the icon is it the base nesta so annoying like ea should add in the overall for these cards anyways that's besides the point below 900k for nesta he's even down a little bit but there'd be a lot of panic selling on these team of the year icons if there was uh, another pack or something like that release that would give out these cards that'd be a, such a great opportunity to trade with them so i don't think there's going to be a ton of panic today unless ea do something crazy with the big sbc 
that is kind of unlikely, right? It's all depending on the content, as it always is, but we'll see where EA's motives uh, are for today. Now, let's talk about the rest of Sunday content. It's Sunday, right? What else are we going to get today? Mini release. Why, who's surprised, right? We know the players too. Fabian and DA and Loriente, which the, the players that were leaked for this, if we could go, go back on the foot sheriffs here and see, the uh, these players didn't look that insane, which is, we have to go pretty far back now. Um, I want to show you the Fabian because this card looked decent, but it almost just looks like the uh, SBC showdown that we just had for Solaire. 82 pace, 91 dribble, 85 passing, 85 shooting, 86 defense, 79 physical. Of course, it's live and upgradable. And these are stats expected. So these are probably about what his card is going to look like. So not great, not absolutely woeful though. So decent card there. It's PSG as well. So you expect for some wins to happen and for some upgrades to happen on that card. Same thing with NDA, a lot of pace, right? One thing I'm a little disappointed with this year versus last year in Foot Fantasy is last year at the end of Foot Fantasy, we came out of that promo with like five or six cards with 99 pace. I know it was later on in the year and stuff, but like we have right now, are there any cards from the Foot Fantasy team that could get to 99 pace? Like Isak, even with a plus four, I don't think he's going to 99. Llorente, probably not. I don't think there's anybody besides NDA that would be coming today um, that would get to 99 pace. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. And then, of course, uh, the last thing for today's content is I doubt EA are going to do anything about this, but they tweeted about Mbappe becoming PSG's uh, all time goal scorer, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, record breaker, you know, man of the match. There's, of course, potential here, but. Will EA do anything? Probably not. We would love to see them do something, but no, not getting our hopes high, not getting super excited for that. Just kind of mentioning that because it is there and it happened. Again, the Umtiti SBC is like the only other player SBC that could be dropping today too. So I really think the main focus of today's content is going to be that icon pack. And I think that's going to be an exciting thing that we'll all look out for and probably see the market move because of that. Now, speaking of the market a bit more, you're like, Nate, where in the world are your coins right now? We kind of went, I don't know if I'd say crazy, but I saw a good price on a card and I kind of went for it. I bought four Harry Cools uh, because he dropped a lot. And that was what I wanted to talk about a little bit in this video too, is these guys dropped off a lot yesterday the fantasy heroes the fantasy cards in general big drop-offs in price which was expected right i mean even on the really really top tier ginola yesterday was 13 million coins and now he's like 10 million or 11 at the moment uh a lot of these guys have dropped off but that was kind of expected right friday to saturday you usually see that isak was just under 300k back up a little bit sanchez is down a lot 618 fernando is down uh Saliba was 1.4 million coins to start the day yesterday, dropped all the way down a little bit ago to like 1.1. He's back up to about 1.2. But these guys had really big drop offs. I think some of this might have been misinformation. I think some people may have believed that these cards upgraded based off of yesterday's games and performances. And when a couple of these teams lost, you know, you saw some big drop offs in price. That could be a part of it, but also. It's just the normal Saturday drop-off. We expected it. We talked about it in yesterday's video. Today, probably going to be a little bit more of the same. I don't expect the drop-offs to be as drastic, though. Like, I don't think Isak's going to drop down another 100,000 coins today and go to 200K. Maybe, like, 250, right? It depends on the content as well. We do have some more lightning rounds. And EA did drop a pretty big uh, pack in the store. Uh, another, was it, like, the Pivot Essentials pack? It's one of the more expensive packs we've seen this entire year 400,000 coins we have a 300k pack and a 400k pack at the moment the premium pivot uh 44 percent chance of a fantasy foot player 2.8 only only a 2.8 percent chance of a fantasy foot hero now you know why i like trading with these guys and why i bought four cules because they are freaking rare but anyways um that's a crazy kind of pack right there 586 plus 70 rare golds i guess that's your answer to nate where's my fodder i guess you can get it right there if you're gonna do with the FIFA points, 400,000 coins. Oof, that's just, that's a tall and a very steep price to pay. Not very coin conscious right there if you're making that decision. But hey, if you're going for it and you're gambling for it, I can't fault you because packs like that are fun. If that makes you have fun in this game, then go for it, right? But uh, I think that's why I love trading with these cards, right? I bought uh, four Harry Cools at 915 and below. I got one of them for 880. He's right now back up to 975. I mean, this guy was 1.1 million like all morning yesterday on Saturday, and he dropped off a ton. Now, I do believe this is around the range of where his price should be, like around a million coins. And I think that's kind of where we are now. A lot of these fantasy cards dropped 
from their kind of unrealistic high points, like Al Saliba being 1.4 mil, like that's crazy, right? We know upgrades are coming to that card, but not for a couple weeks still, and that's just a crazy price for the stats that he is. So it's just kind of like those the card prices dropped from crazy high to, okay, these are a lot more believable. Even Peter Crouch, 290, that's like really low for him. Um, Cordoba was a really good trade for me yesterday. I got a really nice snipe on him right around content right here. He was actually 1.2 flat. I picked one up at 1.13, and I sold it right here for about 1.31 and took the cash there. And then of course, like I said, I bought a bunch of Kuhls who just is now rebounding back up from a pretty crazy drop off. I mean, this is why I bought him, right? He was 1.1 to 1.2 all day yesterday. And even into the couple hours ago, he was still like high 900s down to a million coins. Uh, and he went all the way down, like I said, to 880, 900K flat. So I bought four of those, hoping that he can maintain a decent price. I wonder if it's people realizing uh, that he is not a live card for Liverpool, even though he has the dynamic image. Uh, making him look like a Liverpool player, but he's actually for Leeds United. So I really hope this guy gets upgrades though. I mean, just look at this card for a second. 4-4, four, four, medium, medium, 93 pace, 91 dribble, 89 shooting, 91 passing, one upgrade, which is what? One win um, for Leeds. If Leeds can get a win anytime soon, this guy goes above 90 shooting. He'll have 90 plus in all the important statistics for an attacker. That's pretty crazy. And you look at his in-game stats, all the positions that he has. Kewell has been a really good player throughout this entire year with all, to, all of his multiple hero cards. That's a pretty exciting card right there. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to trade with him. So besides that, I do think these cards will drop off a little bit more today just because it's Sunday. Not any crazy amounts, but I think there's some potential for drops there. So watch out for those cards. And then please, guys, keep a close eye on your road to the finals especially if there is a big sbc today if there is panic selling this would be a great part of the market to hone in on learn some prices look at these cards because this is where the hype is going to start to build with the games coming up this week um, and just keep a close eye on that because there's a lot of potential here. A lot of these cards have room to rise even more, especially if if today's a quiet day. That could make these cards start to move up uh, even more as well with the games upcoming. So try to focus on cards that are going to have games like uh, Nuno Menj, PSG, Bayern, uh, you know, so like those types of guys, Goretzka, Alaba, right? Guys that have games in the coming days. I still have my Alaba on my transfer list that I bought for like one point, what did I buy? 1.23. And I keep listing them up at 1.5, hoping to get like a lucky lazy or something like that. So the Barellas, again, my trance list right now at the moment, all the cards that I have. I traded with one Cordoba yesterday. That was it. Uh, I still have the three Barellas. I have the one Alaba. And then here's the Kewels uh, with the lowest one being 880 and the other ones being right around 900K. So I'm going to try to get some nice uh, profits from QL today, stock up on some 84s. Uh, and I just did Wild Wake Horst. He is in the club. He's ready to go for today's big game. Uh, Manchester United against Liverpool. So that's going to be an exciting day today, especially with those games. Continue to watch the market. Continue to watch things going on today. Footbin has their uh, fantasy tracker updated, by the way. If you go on the live tab or on the squads tab where you found like the trackers for Road to the Final, Path to Glory, Road to the Knockouts wants to watch, they've got their fantasy tracker uploaded there as well but we're going to be streaming again back today link down below in the description hoping to open up some nice icon hero packs whatever is released have some fun and maybe play a little bit of weekend league since it is extended we'll talk about how that could impact the market a little bit more in tomorrow's video so if you're excited for the uh, day today of content hit the thumbs up on the video comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out